a little better to look at. It's, well, both sides are interesting, but uh, can't so, open up both at the same time. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm with Pete Boyle, and uh, Pete, this is one of the cars here at the La Jolla Classic, Custom, classic Car exactly. Show. Exactly. This is a 1928 Isotto Fraschini. It's an Italian chassis and running gear that was built in Italy. That would be sent to America, where a bodybuilder would take the chassis and build a body of it. And this body was built by LeBaron, named synonymous with Chrysler Corporation for many, many years. And it was his first boat tail speedster built in America. And if you look at the back of the car, you'll see the boat tail there. Right. The car was owned by two people. One was a silent movie star, and the other person was an aviation pioneer. They bought the car at the New York Auto Show in 28, drove it to Patterson, Louisiana, where they live. She continued her film career. He continued his aviation career. And the car has been out of the uh, public eye for about 65 plus years. First showing was at Pebble Beach in 07. Wow. And uh, that hood emblem that you've got on here is... Uh, you know what that is? I saw that. See me. Absolutely gorgeous. That's why I don't take you anymore. And uh, let's uh, we'll walk around the other side, take a look at the engine. Yeah, maneuver around here. Oh my goodness. Wow. That engine is a straight 8, 160 horsepower. Guaranteed to do 100 miles per hour back in 28. I've only had it up to 75, so I feel pretty privileged. Oh, that. yeah. I've gone almost all the whole way. A car that you do 100 miles an hour in that day is pretty amazing. Well, we drove it at Pebble Beach. We drove about 100 miles at Pebble Beach in 07 and performed just flawlessly. Never had a problem. We drove all over the hills of Carmel and then down from Carmel to Point Arenas and then back up to Carmel. And where you line up on Ocean Drive. I don't know whether you've been to Ocean Drive in Carmel. Uh, the double street. You line up there and people come by and look at them. Wow. Fratini. I took second in class at Double Beach. This is really... And I've had three, three best of shows. One at Hilton Head, one at Aiden, and one up at Utica, New York. Wow, really a beautiful car. And again, one more time, what is the uh, model and what... 1928 Isotta Fraschini, Tipo 8A SS, SS standing for Super Sport. I don't know what Tipo means in Italian, I'm not an Italian, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, well, we cover this show and we get a lot of people that come to look at... Uh, are you from here? From San Diego, oh, yeah. San Diego? And uh, a lot of people like to come watch the uh, videos of the cars, oh, do they? especially oh, okay. from around the country. Oh, okay. So uh, we try to shoot as many of the, you know, as the special cars that we can get. Okay. And it's always nice when you get the owner because well, that way... Let's look at the interior. Yeah. Could I get one of those? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You did that in a year and a half? The interior is ostrich, not the original interior. Every day? Yep. And here's the owner right here. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, beautiful car. Yeah, thank you. Doing? Thank you. Beautiful car. Beautiful. Did you take a look inside? Uh, yes. See the dashboard right there? Three speed, three forwards, one reverse. Yeah, that is really nice. It's hard, probably a little hard to shoot with the sun <coughs> coming down at you. Um, I'm actually lucky because you've got a ledge that goes yeah, over it, so that is uh, allowing me to get some good stuff there. And uh, all the wood inside is all new. It's English walnut. And it is a convertible. It does go down into a convertible. It's very nice as a convertible. That's awesome. <laughs> One yeah, thing of all, oh, you even got the rumble seat back here. We've got a single seat rumble seat, and in addition to that, we have a golf compartment. Oh yeah, with an old golf bag and old golf clubs. These are these are 19, 20, 30 vintage golf clubs. Wow. That is and I got old golf balls and old tees too. <laughs> that is perfect. And then this is your step up here to get into the rumble you step seat. Here in here, and then somebody would help you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing about these cars, they look as good from the back as they do from the front, especially when you integrate the... Wheel, the wheels were uh, redone by Dayton Wire and Wheel in Dayton, Ohio, one of the oldest wire wheel companies in the, in the world. God, those are really nice. And you have to shine them for both inside and outside because you can't get everything from yeah. the outside. So you have to basically take the wheel off the car? Or? Why do you sort of crawl underneath and sort of move it around <laughs> right. a little bit, yes. <laughs> 
That is really and it's nice. It's as nice underneath as it is on top. Oh, I believe it. Take a look if you want to just crawl down and look. Yeah, great. Right. 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 I'll hold your camera if you like. Uh, let me uh, let me cut the video after that, and then okay. I'll go into there. This is uh, like a toolbox. Well, one one side would be batteries, and the other side would be tools. Okay. Okay. AC, exactly. We talked with the guy last year who was out here. This is batteries. This is batteries. Is this? Yes. Batteries. One is batteries, and on the other side is tools. Yeah, that's really I can nice. show you that over yeah, here. That's, yeah. You see a couple Optimas, you see them, you know. Yeah, yeah. There's various levels in there yes, of tools. Yes. I don't want to take them all. No, off. no, 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 no reason. There's to. about four levels of tools in there. That's really cool. Peter, thank you very much for the tour. Okay. This car, awesome car. I appreciate that. Thank you for stopping. We'll uh, walk from here to show a little bit of our little SoCal Beaches magazine site. I'll give you one of our cards also. Beautiful. Now I wanted to show you this. Uh, yes. Duplicate. Matches, right? Matches, right. And this is just pictures of the, this is of the wheels. This is what the car rendition from Asada Fraschini. The chassis cost about ten grand. Body product cost ten grand. The whole car cost twenty back then, which in today's dollars would be about two fifty. This is an exploded view of the uh, chassis toolkit. Chassis. Here was the silent movie star, Marguerite Clark. And she was the image that Walt Disney used when he produced his first Snow White movie. And this is her husband, Harry Williams, who was an aviation pioneer, excuse me. That's beautiful, you got the whole car history documented yeah, this in there. This is his uh, company, which is quite interesting. And here are some pictures of the uh, actual restoration. The car was taken down to its last nut and bolt. Right. So taken down all the way. Picture of the mirror, which is right there. Dashboard in front of the car. There's a plate, plate that's on the dashboard right here. So we have a quite interesting, uh, quite interesting history. And I think the history adds a lot to it. Although oh, in general, yeah.